In the name of the Father, the, the Son, Son, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, one God, God amen. amen. Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Sunday School. Today we are learning about obedience uh, when we read the Holy Bible. My name is Sandra and I have two special guests. Hi, what's your name? Corrales. Hi, what's your name? Corrales. Hello Corrales and Corrales, thank you for coming. So today we are going to learn about obedience in the Holy Bible while playing the maze. Are you ready to play? Yes, yes. we are. All right. So basically the game, we'll have one of you guys blindfolded mm -hmm. and one will be blindfolded and try to find his way while listening to directions from the other person. Who want to be blindfolded? Me. All right. So you're going to have the pen in here. Okay. The, and you are going to be blindfolded and you will try to listen to directions from your brother. Mm -hmm. Listen to directions. So now we have Carlos uh, blindfolded and he's gonna try to listen to directions from his brother and will try to make all his way down here. All right, you can start. Start up. You finished. All right, good job. All right, Carlos, good job. Thank you. You are actually a very, very good listener. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Do you boys listen to each other at home? Do you yes. listen to um, older brother? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yes, kinda. Kinda, <laughs> okay. Um, so here, um, in the game, we learned that we should listen. What happened if you didn't listen to your brother and you keep following your own way? I'd probably like go through a line or like go to like a dead end or something and then I won't make it to the end, maybe. You wouldn't make it to the end, okay. Um, have you ever used a map before? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you use it for? Like, um, to find places to go to. Like, say, like, if we're, like, in a forest and, like, we want to, like, get out of the forest, we should, like, we probably, like, we should have, like, a map so we don't know, like, so we don't, so we do know where we're going so that we don't get lost, you know? Nobody wants to get lost. Yes, nobody wants to get lost, exactly. So God gave you a very, very precious map, a very precious book. It's called the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is your map through the, this world. The Holy Bible is your map. So the same way we we'll listen to directions in this game, it's the same way we're gonna listen to the Word of God. When we read the Holy Bible, we listen and obey the Word of God. Let's read together the book of Samuel chapter 15 okay verses 28 okay lift it up there you go let's read together the first book of samuel chapter 15. wait what verse yeah this one to obey is better than sacrifice to obey is better than sacrifice. Do you know what sacrifice mean? Like, um, like you like a uh, sacrifice for like your people, like your um, like dying or something. Like you like um, forgot to explain it, but it's like uh. Who did the sacrifice in the Bible? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus! He died on the cross for us. Perfect! That's a perfect example. Yes, Jesus uh, did the sacrifice. So in the Old Testament, they used to have a sacrifice of an animal uh, to forgive their sins. But now in the New Testament, Jesus paid the price. So we no longer need sacrifices. But in the Old Testament, a sacrifice was a very, very huge thing. 
because your sins are forgiven after the sacrifice. So actually the verses here is teaching us that to obey is better than sacrifice. So when you obey the word of God, when you listen to the word of God, when you obey, is better than offering a sacrifice. Why, why do you think obedience is important? Because um, if you don't like listen to your mom and dad, you know, then when you grow up, it might be like somebody like bad. Because like your parents, like they like teach you what to do. They keep you uh, safe and all that stuff. And they try to keep you like a good kid. So when you grow up, you'll be just like them. Perfect. So obedience, keep you safe, keep you away from troubles. When you listen to your parents, you avoid troubles. It's the same way. When you listen to the word of God, it will keep you from every sin, every trouble, every evil. There is something I want to talk to you about. When, you had, uh, when we had you blindfolded, did you trust your brother to tell you the correct directions? Yes. Yes. So that's another thing. When we listen to the word of God and we trust in God, it means that we fully trust and rely on him. When we listen and obey the word of God, it means that we trust him. Mm -hmm. What happened if we did not obey the word of God? You'd be in big be trouble sinner. and you'd be a sinner. You won't go to heaven when you die. Yes, you will be a sinner because the word of God shields you and protects you. And when you trust in God and just listen to his commandments, you entrust him with your life and you stop doing things your own way and you trust him. Also, when you obey, your life shines with Christ which means other people would be able to see the Word of God inside you. When you obey and have your Word of God inside your heart, other people, when they see you, they would know that you're Christians. What happens, for example, if uh, someone um, saw you guys fighting? Is that good? No, it's a bad thing. They'd be saying those guys are not Christian. Yes, they would be saying, oh, this behavior is not from a Christian. But if you have the Word of God inside your heart, other people would be able to see Jesus from you. Mm -hmm. So people can see obedience, so people can see the Lord inside us when we obey His commandments. People can see God through our deeds. It's also important to understand that we are God's ambassador. Do you know what ambassador means? Um, he's like, like your boss, I think, maybe something like that. I haven't really, like, heard that word much before. So an ambassador, it means someone from a different country, like here, for example, mm -hmm. in the U.S. Uh, we have different ambassadors from different countries around the world, and every person represents their country. So we are representing God on earth. When people see our deeds, see our uh, behavior, um, when people see that we obey the word of God, we become the ambassadors of Jesus. When you read the word of God every day, I want you to ask questions. I want you to write down and mark the verses that you like. How do you read the Bible? We usually like um, stand up. We close our door so that way like nobody hears us and we like talk to um, God by ourselves and we like pray to him like we pray to him so and then people like say like you're in, uh, you have a family in the house and you want to and it's good to pray by yourself because like, so that way nobody hears like what you kind of say. It's like your own privacy or something with God. Good. So you have your quiet time with your Bible. That's very good. So what do you do, uh, Karas? H how do you read your Bible? Usually me, my brother, my dad, and sometimes my whole family, we usually sit in one room and we usually 
read, take turns reading the Bible, read chapters, and take turns reading. And usually, after we read, we ask questions to each other. Perfect. So you take turns. I love that. So when you sit down with your family, bring your Bible and take turns. Read together, learn together, ask questions. Mark the verses that you like and write down every verse that, that touched your heart. There is an interesting thing in the book of Psalms King David talked about. There is a verse in Psalm 118 that says, Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Let's just read through this very quick. Okay. So it says, your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. How do you hide the word of God? In your heart? Yes, how? I could repeat it again. Okay. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. So like... Um he so like don't do like any sins so there is an interesting verse uh, written in the book of Psalms King David says your word I have hidden in my heart so I would not sin against you what 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 does hidden mean what does it mean like, like a you secret? hide something like you hide something like a secret so it means when you keep repeating the word of God in your heart like in silence when you pray in silence, when you repeat verses or psalms throughout the day, in your heart, it will protect you from sin. So how does hiding the Word of God save you from sin? So like say, um, say uh, when you're like somewhere and then there's like, and then there's a devil and he wants to like try to like test you mm -hmm. um, God he will always have your back perfect so every time you pray every time you pray a psalm in your heart and there is an evil around you this prayer will shield you from the surrounding this prayer will save you from sin this prayer will protect you I love your comment Carlos Thanks. I hope you read your Bible every day and I hope you ask questions and learn and mark up all the verses that you like. And when you pray, repeat the word of God throughout the day and obey the Lord Jesus and his commandments. Obey God. And when you pray, guys, I like the fact that you sit together as a family and share verses together and share um, and discuss a, a chapter in the Bible. That's, that's very interesting. That's very good. The Word of God will shield you from sin. The Word of God protects you. The Word of God... God is talking to you through the Bible. So He's listening to you through prayer and He's talking to you through the precious book, the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. So when you read, this is how God is communicating with you. This is how you're building a relationship with God. You're praying, you're asking God to protect you. And actually, from the other side, He's saying that I'm here for you. I died for you. I died and gave my life to you. I will save mm -hmm. you. Are you ready for the verse? Yes. yes. Blessed are those. Blessed, Blessed are those. Who hear the word of God. Who hear, hear the, the word, word of God. And keep it. And keep it. It's the gospel according to St. Luke. It's the gospel according, according to St. Luke. Chapter 11. Chapter 11. Verses 28. Verses 28. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. I hope you continue reading your Bible. Keep the word of God inside your heart and it will protect you from sin. I hope to see you next time and thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.